What is up, guys? Demon DJ02 here. Told you I'd be back later with uh, talking tradecraft, so here I am. And Ulda. And Dan and I just want to have a little bit of a chat with you guys. Talking about um, basically the basics of the trade cla the trade cla craft classes, where to pick them up, and actually what tradecraft is. Well, obviously, the first question everybody's saying is dude why are you saying tradecraft wouldn't it be crafting and that is exactly correct but in this game they they separate the combat classes the crafting classes and the gathering classes into battlecraft tradecraft and fieldcraft uh groups as you can see my care my uh girl here deanna granted she's wearing a out eye dress and other accoutrements but you can see that on her left hip is a blacksmith's hammer main uh key point here is all trade craft classes or crafting classes as you want to if you want to say that has their own special niche Black, blacksmiths deal with weapons, armors deal with, obviously, armors and shields. Uh, leather workers deal with leather goods, armors, belts, and uh, accessories. But also, some, but some, not all, of the, as the, uh, arcanist weapons. Carpenters deal with uh, bows, staves, and other wooden goods, such as spinning wheels. Goldsmiths deal primarily with the precious metals, mithril, and they deal, they create the uh, star globes for the astrologian, the red mage uh, foils as well as accessories such as rings, earrings, necklaces, and bracelets. Uh, Alchemist Deals with all things of alchemical nature, potions, certain wands for the white mage, um, certain arcanist, summoner, and scholar tomes, as well as intermediate ingredients for the creation of other items, such as glues, oils, so on and so forth. <clears throat> Weaver deals with the light armors, the cloth gear that most <clears throat> blacksmith or black mages, white mages, red mages, and to an extent, uh, monks, archers, and ninjas. And culinarian, simply put, puts the food on the table. They're the ones that craft all the food throughout the game to give uh, stat buffs for tanks, DPS, healers, uh, gatherers, and crafters. So don't discount the culinarian class. They're pretty useful in a pinch. But anyway, that aside, you're probably wondering where all these crafters or crafters uh, hail from. That would be a long endeavor, but I'm just going to use the map to show you. An old up of the Weaver's Guild, just shy of the Silver Avenue Exchange. The Goldsmith's Guild, which has its own etherite, or ethernet shard, is just southeast of Estamine's Aesthetics.
and the Alchemist's Guild, which is upstairs, just south of the Chamber of Rule, and it's and it has its own etherite in the Scholar's Walk. Where's Gridania? Where is the actual Gridanian? Oh, Black Shroud, duh. Bra Black Shroud, Gridania. The Carpenter's Guild is front and center in Gridania, just west of the Etherite. The Leatherworkers Guild is serviced by its own Ethernet shard, northwest of it. And in Lenosha, in Limsa Lamensa. Uh, if I remember correctly, I need to get to the upper decks here. Yep, there it is. The Blacksmith and Armors Smith or Armors Guilds are in the southern section of the upper de the uh, upper decks in Linza Lamensa. And the Bismarck, the Culinarians Guild, is in the northern section just past the Drowned Wench Drowning Wench. And that's all of the Crafters Guilds. And you're probably wondering where we get supplies. Well, you can either gather them using a gathering class, such as a miner, botanist, or fisher, depending on what you need to gather. Miner gets you the ores you need to make the metal ingots. A uh, gatherer, uh, a botanist gets you the wood for a carpenter, as well as the various threads uh, for most of, but not all of, the weaver recipes. And Fisher will allow you to get fish for a culinarian, as well as certain items for particular uh, alchemist recipes. The other gathering you need to do is by killing mobs. Those mobs will drop, say, um, le uh, leather hide for, or a, a set of hides for the leather worker, or steak or milk for the culinarian. Basically, those things require you to go out and actually gather them. You can also buy some of the things from the guild supplier, but you only get the supplies you need for the first two tiers of recipes. Which brings me th to my third location of where to buy them. The market board. The market board's gonna have your all your ingredients at push of a button. So as you can see, I went in here to metals and here's all your processed metal ores. Here's all your processed lumber, and then down below that is going to be your logs so that you can actually process into lumber. Come over here to ingredients, and every single ingredient is listed in roughly uh, regional order. But yeah, pretty much those are the basics of tradecraft and next week what we're going to do is we're going to go in depth with uh, what the first crafting class I decided to pick up and that is blacksmith as you can see my blacksmith hot bar sprawls across three hot bars and actually on into the fourth but we're going to take a look at that next week 
and show you the ins and outs of what the abilities do, what special abilities blacksmiths have that other classes don't, as well as the uh, so a uh, little primer on what items you can make with blacksmith. As always, please leave a like if you like the video. If you didn't find it that entertaining, give it a dislike. I understand. I'm trying to do this daily thing so that way I can get into the swing of things. The upper left hand corner is going to be the most recent video, which is going to be the Sestasha run through. In the upper right hand corner, I'm going to set a playlist for talking tradecraft so that way if you miss an episode you can go back and watch it down at the bottom of the, of the video it's gonna be my smiling face i appreciate you coming by taking a look and i will see you next time bye <laughs>